Okay, so you might be wondering what the fuck is going on behind me. If you don't know, then you probably don't listen to my Instagram stories with sound on. So um, these are my boobs. The first time in a video that you've actually seen them in since I got them done. So that's kind of cool. I'm liking these so much more so far, but I'll save that for another video. So behind me, um, I'm in California right now and we are kind of like and have been in the middle of remodeling this kitchen area. So I'm sitting at a dining room table right now and um, I am thought I'd film like a little update video on some different topics um, while I do my makeup because next I'm going to film my RV tour. So I just washed my hair. Dude, I did purple shampoo yesterday. It worked really well. I also slept with um, a possible new Arctic Fox hair mask in my hair last night and it feels so good. So basically excuse the background right now. It's probably gonna be a little echoey too because there's not a lot in here, but I'm gonna use some new products today that I haven't actually used before. Huge shout out to Urban Decay for hooking me up with my favorite brow beater products. I freaking love that. They also sent me some of their um, Stay Naked Hydro Maniac Tinted Glow Hydrator and I've really been liking this. I wanna do a video soon on what foundations I'm loving as a 32 year old because my skin is just not the same as when I was like 22 and there is like a new learning curve when you get kind of into your 30s as I'm sure some of you know and sometimes people hit it a little sooner and that's okay too. So trying those today, I've already worn that but thank you to Urban Decay for that. I have a bag of liquid lipsticks from Jaclyn Hill. Um, I'm going to try out the Balm and Beautiful. Um, this is an eyeshadow palette. The Balm has always really like fun eyeshadows and whatnot. And then I'm also going to try for my lid, I think, um, Fade Into the Hue by ColourPop. I'll link all of these in the description box too if you guys want to check these out. But this one looks really rad. Oh my gosh, I almost knocked this basket over. I also want to try out this new Balm blush this one is it's a date i absolutely hate this packaging because it's so annoying and difficult to get into but i'll get over it and then wet and wild big papa um mascara so um i will soon be filming in um i've been wearing this foundation for the past um few days by the way i've been loving that actually more like few weeks so I will be soon setting up an area at my Arctic Fox office to film, but until then, it's gonna be a little messy vlog style, but that's kind of like my style anyway, so fuck it. I need some water before we get started with this. I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Poured and Primed and Poreless, um, whatchamacallit, primer. I just have been noticing lately that my pores just stand out a little bit too much when I don't use something that fills them in a little bit. So I've been liking this and under my eyes too. The other day I uploaded a, a new old vlog. I had some vlog footage from like the end of October last year and then um, Thanksgiving. And so I decided to go ahead and put those up because they're fun and they're still fun to watch anyways. And I wasn't really active on social media at the time much. So I thought it'd be fun to put them up anyways, but that was kind of when I was doing like my entire, um, I'm using a dose of colors uh, concealer in light medium. Um, I'm gonna do my eyeshadow first just so it doesn't get everywhere. So that's kind of when I was going, doing my like, if you watch the vlog then you know, but I did like the, um, the poop sample, the stool sample or whatever and I, it was so gross, dude, that was so gross. And so I was talking about my digestive stuff and testosterone and all that in that vlog. So I kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update with that. So um, the pressure to have enough to talk about while you're doing your makeup is always so stressful. <laughs> um, okay, whatever. Well, actually I'm gonna go into the Balm palette first and I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna go with like this one and this one and just kind of, the, and maybe the fog. So like, I don't know, this one, this one, and this one I think to build up kind of like a, a nice brown. Uh, oh shit, I brought a bunch of brushes from a box in the garage and then I just left them out there, classic. 
So anyways, I had this stool test done and I was thinking that I was gonna see that I had like all this like crazy bacteria, like, you know, build up in my digestive, you know, system and colon or whatever. And it was causing me to have like a bunch of gas and bloating, etc. And that wasn't actually the case. Everything was like semi-normal. Um, and I'm trying to remember exactly the results, but I was um, prescribed some things that I'll try and put in the description box. I spent literally, you guys, um, like five or $600 on supplements. And I was just like, dude, that's a lot of money. But I was like, you know what? I'll put it on a credit card. Like I really just need to try and get like, my shit in order and get everything working properly so I can like live a normal life and not be, you know, in pain or discomfort. Um, so I ended up getting that stuff and I, one of the, two of the things was like something you had to like mix into a bunch of water and it just wasn't good. And it was a pain in the ass to like make. So can you guys see that this is not, these aren't done at all. <laughs> um, it was just a pain in the butt to make and I continuously would forget to make it. So I did pretty good with the other items and then I feel like I kind of slacked off a little bit and I probably could have done a better job because I was supposed to try it like everything for like three months or whatever. And so ugh, I didn't give it the best shot but I wasn't really seeing much in the way of results. So I wasn't that motivated to continue trying. Um, some of the things that I was taking, I think PharmaGaba specifically, maybe I'm wrong, don't take this as Bible because um, I'm not a doctor, I don't know. But I think I was taking PharmaGaba and like some adrenal support stuff for like stress and like being able to sleep. because so I was having issues, you know, sleeping pretty well and all that. And a lot of that just comes with like the territory of what I do and like my work and like being, you know, running a business and stuff, it's very stressful. So I definitely chalked a lot of it up to that. But after like using all of these things for like two months almost, I just like kind of didn't feel like they were doing enough. So I ended up um, just leaving them in Nashville and kind of stopping using them. I did have my blood drawn, which if you watched those last few vlogs, then you definitely saw that happening in my house. It was so rad. I had someone come to my house and draw my blood, which was so awesome because I kind of like live, not in this, I don't live in the sticks, but it definitely takes like a good 20 minutes to kind of like get anywhere. So, okay, I'm liking this palette so far. This is nice. I mean, it's pretty like basic, basic bitch, but it definitely like blends out nicely and stuff. I had my blood drawn because I wanted to see kind of where like my thyroid was. I wanted to do all the panels of the thyroid or whatever and check my, have my adrenals checked and have my testosterone checked because if you watched my video where I was giving you guys like an update on my testosterone cream and how that was going, like it was going really well. And I, even in that video, I was like, I hope that I need more because I'm feeling so good. <laughs> like I want more of it. So like my sex drive was, was up, is up, um, and there's more room for that to grow as it turns out. So I had my blood drawn and she did, she checked my like progesterone levels, like all the different stuff that you check to make sure that a woman is like functioning the way that she should be. And everything looked actually really good, except for the fact that I needed more testosterone still. She said that the minimum that she would do for or like would want somebody at, like one of her clients at for testosterone is 45, I think it was, and I'm at a 26 right now. So definitely better than I was before. If, if you didn't, if you didn't watch the other video, I was at a uh, 10 or below. So if you're a 10 or below, that basically means your testosterone is undetectable. So I could have been a three for all we know. So I was really low and I was just like having like low sex drive and like no energy and like fatigue and like mood swings and you know, all that kind of stuff. So the testosterone has really been helping. It comes in the form of a cream. I was like looking to see if I had it here on the counter, but I don't. So we're gonna need to up that, but it's just nice to know that I need more, which is great. Okay, I'm gonna go on the fade into the hue palette and I'm actually going to, Grab this one, it's called Hot Copic. Hot Copic? 
It's kind of like a like a bluey shade. I don't know. I thought it would look good with the brown. So I'm gonna. Ooh, okay. That's really pretty. I wish I'd put a base down for that. Like I got these color sticks from ColourPop in the mail and they're in the car because I was like, eh, I don't really wear those. And so I feel like I should have used that underneath, but this is really pretty. I read a few comments in that vlog where people were saying like, oh, I don't have like access to a doctor or I just keep going to people that like, you know, don't want to try any of these more natural remedies. And that's kind of what Western doctors do for the most part. There are doctors out there that are a little bit of both. They're a little naturopathic and they're a little bit of Western, which I actually do like. Um, so, but what I'm getting at is the doctor that I have been going to for all of these things is based in La Jolla. However, I haven't actually ever met her in person. We've been doing all of this through Zoom. So you can also do the same thing if you would like to, um, you know, schedule something with her and kind of go over your symptoms. And I just really like her. And I know that some of you did actually, after I talked about her in the one video, I know some of you went and actually did schedule meetings with her. So hopefully she has helped you guys out a bit. Putting a little bit of this on, like a little moist. Ooh, that was my hand, not the brush. <laughs> It definitely is punching it up a bit. Ooh, can you guys see that? Looks really pretty. Look at all these random balloons. Nick got me all of these balloons and I walked in the door and he was like filming me and he had got me like all these pretty freaking balloons. So freaking cute. And he said he went to the dollar store and got 50 of them. I was like, you walked up to the cash register with and asked them to fill you 50 balloons? Like, are you joking? <laughs> You must really love me. Okay, this like blue glitter is really fun, but I don't know if I wanna mess with that right now. Oh, the pink glitter. Oh, look, can you, I don't know. This ring light's probably blowing some stuff out, but that's gonna be fun for another day when I'm not just showing you a motorhome tour. I'm like, oh my gosh, look at me. I put on like 100 pounds of glitter to show you guys my motorhome. Honestly, I would do that. So I don't know why I'm talking like I wouldn't. We all know I would. Matching is gonna be fun right now, cause I don't know, I have not been out in the sun much. So, um, let's see. This looks like it's gonna be a little too dark for me. I really like this squeeze tip that this has. It really allows you to like precisely, that looks like a little too dark, but like it could work. I'm just gonna use this and see how it goes. It, it's, it looks like it's gonna be a little too dark. I guess it's a little, we're a little back to the drawing board with the, with the um, digestive stuff because I just don't, like, I don't know. I just didn't really notice much of a difference, but the fact that all my fecal stuff came back like pretty normal. Uh, oh, there is one thing that they told me with that. She did tell me that my body has a hard time breaking down fats so let's hope this doesn't oxidize at all. If this oxidizes at all, we're gonna be in trouble. Um, she did tell me that my body has a hard time breaking down fats. So like, I, I do notice that I actually, like if I eat nuts and stuff, I'll definitely get a little bloated and more gassy and stuff. Um, and so that's something to be aware of. And I guess that includes like avocados and everything. So I just have to be a little bit careful when I'm eating fats, which sucks because, yeah, this is a little dark. You know what I'm gonna do is I'll put some lighter concealer on and stuff to like kind of balance it out a little bit, but I just wanna, tr actually, you know what? I might have a lighter color in the bathroom. Hang on. I think it's the same. Oh no, it's the same exact shade. <laughs> Excuse my shorts. I'm gonna um, go in with some of the IT CC Oil Matte Poreless Finish Full Coverage Cream Anti-Aging SPF 40. This is in light medium. I'm just gonna do a tiny bit of that. It's a little less fluid than the Urban Decay one, but it's a little bit lighter. Um, hopefully we can save this. If not, I'm gonna be walking around with a dark ass face and a light body. <laughs> this is a little bit lighter of a concealer. I'm gonna do a little bit like this, like old school, just because I need to lighten this a little bit. So yeah, we'll see what the plan is for the testosterone stuff. I think I just need to do, like she'll, she'll be telling me soon, but I think I just need to do, okay, that's 
That's fun. Okay, crap. <laughs> Thanks, Elf. I highly recommend looking into like your levels and having like a panel done before you just start taking random medicine that like a Western doctor prescribes to you. Because when I went in and said that I had like gas issues and like this, that, and the other, she was trying to give me like pills to like help my digestive system. And I'm like, what's the actual like reason behind it though? Like, that's what I want to know. You know, I really like this foundation. Like I mean, if you had a lot of acne or scars that you're trying to cover, you might need to like spot correct before, but I had one right there that you can still kind of see through, but I'm fine with it. And one right here, um, it's just not enough for me to do anything about it. I'm gonna powder with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. So that's that. A little update on my lips. So I, dissolved all of my lip filler and i had somebody in nashville do this a while ago and i was like thinking at the end of it because all she did was like a couple little pokes and that was kind of it i was thinking okay wow that wasn't like that bad like what everyone always talks about how painful it is and everything you know and so i got it done and i was like okay that wasn't bad at all and then i got it done here in california um, I really liked the girl who did them. I was like, do you want to be friends? Because like we get along really well. Um, she probably thought I was a freak. It's okay. Uh, she basically told me before I even got there, she was like, send me some pictures of your lips. So I sent her some pictures and she was like, okay, I think we're probably going to need like five vials. And I was just like, what is on my, oh, it's getting hot. I'm gonna have to give it a break. She was like, we're going to need probably like around five vials. And I was like, and ah uh, girl i spent like over a thousand dollars in there and it was brutal like do you remember you'll see in one of the vlogs i don't know if it'll be up before this or not it probably will be but like my lips were like black and freaking blue and it was intense dude it was so intense like I'll, I'll explain to you like a little bit how she did it and what the plan is now but i'm gonna let my camera cool down for a minute this is my vlog camera so it's not as like fancy as my other ones. So I'm gonna turn it off for a minute and I'm gonna take the opportunity to do my brows off camera. I cannot talk and do my eyebrows at the same time. Okay, so um, I did my eyebrows. I used the Brow Blade by Urban Decay in Taupe Trap first and then I went back with dark drapes and used kind of the dark drapes um, to do the little hairs and whatnot because that's double-ended. It has like a pencil and like, uh, whatchamacallit, um, a little ink stain tip like that it's super awesome so i use those in conjunction and sometimes i will use a little brow gel like this um, maybe i'll pop it in today i'll usually do this with like a lighter shade if my brows are a little too dark to add some dimension and then if it's um if they're a little too light i'll do this with a darker one but it kind of just like enhances like the actual hairs and if you're like me, you hardly have any, so sometimes it doesn't really matter if you use it or not. I'm using the Wet n Wild Big Papa. This is what the spoolie looks like. It looks a little clumpified to me so far, but let's try this out. It says, I'm gonna put lashes on too, so, um, you know what, I, I hate to say it, but I'm so sick of these before and after pictures. Like, this chick, clearly has eyelashes on like stop trying to fuck with us like that like she lit that's actually like a photoshopped eyelash i think jeez louise get bigger volume bigger lift bigger thickness oh, we all like bigger thickness if you know what i mean y'all know this has been my absolute favorite ride or die mascara for literally the last eight months or so this is the nyx on the rise and let's see how it compares because i'm gonna put lashes on but a cup. Okay, this is so not doing it for me. What the fuck? It's my lashes just are clumping together a bit, and then there's like one random one by itself. Like it's not piecing it out. It's just like kind of clumping them together a little bit. Okay, yeah, I don't think I'll be using that again. Sorry, Wet and Wild. That was not a win for me. I mean, it's not horrible but I, I like something like this that's gonna get in between my lashes a little bit better. Um, gosh, now this stuff's already on there though. Back to the lips. Um, so I, she was 
extremely rough with my lips, but that's just how it had to be. It's nothing like against her, it's just how it is. So she um, did my lips and so she injected like five vials or something like that in there and it was kind of crazy. Um, it, was, it was a lot and so, and then once it was all injected, she did like dental block and she also like just numbed them so I didn't feel anything really until the very end and she was pulling up and shaping my lips to try and get the filler that had kind of gone up here because that was one of the reasons why I was getting it dissolved is my filler just keeps moving up. I have very M shaped lips here and she was telling me that a lot of people and injectors don't actually know how to inject my shape of lips and it kind of requires like a different method. So she told me that it's actually her favorite, which I was really excited about because recently, over the past couple years, I'd say, I, no one's done my lips in a way that I've liked and it's very expensive and it was just sucky because I go through the pain of having it done and then, um, then I've got like, you know, filler that's just migrating and so I was just like, this sucks. So she did this, but I literally had the craziest black and blue lips. It was like, looked like it was dripping down my bottom lip. It was crazy looking. Okay, so this blush is like, I don't know if it's just not that pigmented or it's like the same color as my skin, but it definitely, you have to build it up, which I kind of like because then it definitely goes on very even. Whereas sometimes I'll do blush and it'll be like, like right there. I'm like, oh fuck, like let me, let me blend that out right quick. For bronzer, I'm gonna use the Buxom uh, Staycation Vibes in Rooftop Tan. I really like this one because it's got a lighter one in the center and then kind of a darker one out there, which I do enjoy because I can use the lighter one for like my nose area and then I use the darker one for the rest of my face. All right, so let's talk about babies. I figured I would talk about this because there's been a lot of questions about this on Instagram and I realized that I've never really talked about it much. I've uh, responded to a couple questions on Instagram when I've done the little question box about my ex-husband having a baby. <laughs> uh, if you guys are new here or you didn't watch my divorce video, one I will link that in the description box below for you. Uh, but one of the reasons my ex-husband and I separated is because he did not want children. And now he is having a child with someone that's 17 years younger than him. And everyone has been very curious about how I feel about it because when that was announced, um, you bet your ass I read through the comments. <laughs> um, and it was a lot of people just saying like, this is kind of fucked up, like I feel bad for Kristen. I feel a lot of different things about it. Part of me, like when he told me, he at least told me before he put it on the internet, which I think was really nice and like the right thing to do, you know? Um, so that was respectful and I appreciated that. And I just kind of laughed at first and I said, congratulations. But then I was like, that is just so funny because like, does she know that you don't want kids? Does she know that you said you won't even change a diaper? Like, does she know these things? <laughs> and I don't know, I kind of just felt like some chick's gonna like get pregnant by Ryan just to lock him down and like, whatever. And I don't know if that is what's going on. I'm not gonna speculate on that because it's none of my business. But at the end of the day, I am really happy for Ryan and you know, he seems excited. So I'm excited for him, uh, good for him. You know, personally, I, when I have a child with someone, I want to know beyond with a shadow of a doubt that that person is very excited to start that adventure with me. And, you know, unfortunately, I don't think his girlfriend can say the, say the same thing. And who am I to speak for her? I, I don't know. But, you know, the fact is Ryan did not want children. I want the best for Ryan. I really do. Like, I got bummed out for him immediately because I knew how much he didn't want children. So I got bummed out for him, you know, um, because if he had it his way, I'm sure that probably wouldn't have happened. But you know what? Everything happens for a reason and I'm, I'm happy for him. And I hope that when his child is born, you know, he will actually be involved and change diapers for his girlfriend's sake. 
um, and his own. Like it's got to be kind of cool to be involved in your child's life, you know, especially like at such a young age being involved in like every part of their, you know, development and everything. So, you know, I'm happy for him and I hope that he falls in love with his child when it is born and just like has a great time being a father because um, his baby deserves that. I'm gonna do my lips. I don't know if the lip liner from Jaclyn Hill's um, liquid lipstick and the, like, I don't know if the liquid lipstick name matches that lip liner name. So I kind of just grabbed one. Hopefully it works. This lip liner is Blondie. I'm not really gonna talk while I'm doing this. So let me just, I'll recap what I said in a minute here. And this liquid lipstick is I'm a Cancer. The lip brush is like really, really tiny. That must be annoying for people that have bigger lips. It works great for me. So to recap, I'm like trying to check my tits out on the thing. Do they look good? <laughs> um, so to recap, I am very happy for Ryan. I um, am excited for him and I really hope that he like comes into his own as a father and he just really enjoys it. I hope that it enriches his life. Like I just want Ryan to be happy. Um, and honestly, like, I'm glad I didn't have a baby with Ryan. I, like I said, like, I want to have a baby with someone who like truly wants to be with me, loves me at my worst, at my best, you know, and is excited for the adventure of having children with me and like really wants to start a family and be a part of that. Like not only like start a family, but like actually be very involved and, you know, when I heard, oh, I'm not even gonna help you change a diaper, I knew right then and there that that's not the person that I wanted to have children with. And so I'm super glad that I'm with Nick. Like he is so good with kids. Like honestly, like watching him at a kid's birthday party, like I almost got pregnant, just like watching him interact with the kids. Like he is so good with kids. Um, it's like really heartwarming to watch. And um, I dodged a bullet, <laughs> honestly, not having a child with Ryan. Um, and I don't mean that in a mean way. I just mean that, he isn't the one for me and you know, maybe he's the one for his girlfriend and hopefully they find their happily ever after and like have an awesome time, you know, creating a family together. And you know, I, I wish them nothing but the best to be honest. Um, so that's kind of how I feel about that. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I'm going to try and go film this video while the sun is still out. It is so beautiful outside right now. Um, so I'm going to go take advantage of this, let my camera cool down a little bit, but thanks for watching. And again, everything that I've used in this video, you can find in the description box below, as well as some discounts and links for other things. And I've been uploading to my website slowly, but surely it's kristenxland.com. So you can check that out, but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.